evening everyone, it's a beautiful Saturday and you're sitting with me, your girl Lula Blue. As you can see next to me, I have a very beautiful queen, Utato Oga M, an author, a facilitator, a student, two-time student, <laughs> she will explain that, a two-time student, um, a child of God. In fact, I was supposed to start by saying, a child of God, before going further, a YouTuber, a blogger, everything, you're so busy, welcome to the TV. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you could make time. Um, yeah. She I doesn't respond to my messages, this one, guys. Yeah. She doesn't. <laughs> yes, she should be online just so that she can post instances and exit. Tell people about the book, which is something which is another thing that we're going to talk about today here. A book called, titled uh, My Sacred Moments in the Sanctuary. This is what is currently keeping her um, away from us. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to at least post my interests to show people that I'm still alive and then I'll come respond to my interests But we appreciate the human life, honestly. Okay, yes, group of life. <laughs> it's very important, Kisa. Exactly. Because you would be worried, honestly. Because yeah. you don't respond to text. Exactly. So if I go silent all in all and I don't post interests, then you guys will think I'm dead. So, yeah. True. Um, even when I go on my sabbaticals, when I go on a break, mm -hmm. I announce, I'll be like, I'm off, so that you guys know that I'm not just my dream. Right? Yeah, true, yeah. There's something that's Yeah, happening. also because people are expecting me to post scriptures or something, mm -hmm. they, they will ask now where's the word, and you yeah, know, true. people are quiet, so I have to like let you know if I'm not there. And but speaking of posting the word, you recently uh, completed your Psalms challenge, 150 yeah. days of the Psalms. <laughs> That's like a lot of days in a year. How many, how many days do you have? It was five, five. Months. So it's five months. Yeah, it was you were months. posting the Psalms each and every single day and explaining mm -hmm. it. So I'm thinking you were doing the work before the day so that you were able to post the thing. No. You are doing it that day? I was doing it that day um, because the idea was, actually the, the, the challenges are for me more than they are for people. So I'm not preparing. I'm actually in the challenge, walking the journey with the person who's joining me. The only reason I'm bringing it on the socials is so that we can do it as a group of people. Exactly. But for me, I still wake up in the morning and do the sum just to be faithful to the challenge itself. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I was preparing the day before. That day, I do the challenge for that day, and then the following day, I come back and do it. That's why I didn't uh, actually put a time on it today. I'll post at 7. Because sometimes at 7 a.m. I'm here. So sometimes I'll post at 8 p.m., sometimes at 5 p.m., because it just works on my schedule. But I wanted to read the sum for that day on that day. Is there another upcoming challenge? There is another upcoming challenge. I'm excited about the challenges, but the thing is, I always don't know what the challenge is, so I have to go pray and then I come and then say this is the challenge. So I've been doing challenges, but they come with prayer. So I don't just say, um, so we're reading Romans next next month, mm -hmm. no. I have to go pray and see where God wants to take me. Because if I would move all by myself, then the revelations wouldn't come. Mm -hmm. But what And what is important in the whole challenge thing is that um, the revelation must come. And sometimes the challenge is not only reading the word. Sometimes I'm, I'm saying, I remember last year I had a challenge for 31 days and as I was saying, uh, write the name, write 31 names and every day pray for one person. Mm -hmm. So it's different challenges. It's not necessarily the word. It's just to grow the body of Christ in all the things that would help to grow the body. Not just the word, even prayer, even worship. Mm -hmm. the, the other time I had a challenge where we posting a scripture and you find, um, we put uh, a worship song attached to the scripture. Oh. So you see, you see, it's different things that just grow people in the body of Christ. Just listening to you talk about this whole day, explaining uh, the challenges that you have done, I'm thinking to myself, what would be my 31 names? You know, mm -hmm. I'm thinking I might, I might take that challenge, even though you're not part of it. <laughs> I might make that my challenge mm -hmm. and write like 31 names, and that's a beautiful thing actually. Yeah. I pray for those people. Yeah. You know, because sometimes you find that you're praying, and then. Um, you pray for your mom and your dad, and then you end up praying for your siblings, which end up naming them. And then you figure out that, oh, it feels like I left out my, mm -hmm. my cousins that you pray for each and every one of them. Mm -hmm. It's one prayer, right? And then the next thing you're praying for South Africa, you're mm -hmm. praying for the world, you're praying for the people in prisons, the people in hospitals. Mm -hmm. yeah, but then I'm thinking to myself that it, yes, it is good, but it, it might limit the amount exactly. of uh, dedication you give to one person mm -hmm. or pray for that particular person. And some of the things that happen to us, I've been to some people out there, people out there, people out there. Mm -hmm. Honestly, 
Uh, most people who joined the challenge really complained about that. I also had a problem because that one is a small number for the amount of people that you know. Um, but it wasn't necessarily, it was to build the prayer life. Mm -hmm. So just to also know that you're not involving yourself or always praying for yourself. You pray for other people as well. It was probably almost over 31 people that I prayed for. But at least every day I knew that I must pray for Ujia, for example. I must pray for Ujia. But obviously in the prayer, when I'm praying for her, I'll then remember that, oh, there's also Tatan, there's also Renato that I must pray for. And then on Tuesday, maybe the next day, I'm praying for my mom. But I'll also include my dad now and my aunts and, some, and someone. The idea was not to necessarily pray for that one person only. It was to have 31 names, but you can still bring other people. The idea was not to always focus on praying for yourself, but to pray for other people as well. Mm. Yeah, I love that. So 31 is a number that you love so much, Nick. Mm, I can't really say. It <laughs> seems that. It seems that. Because oh. then you went in 2021, you yeah, wrote a yeah. book during the COVID mm -hmm. times. You were like, I'm going to name it The Sacred Moments in the Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. 31 days. I see what you're talking about. And then we did a 31 day challenge with the name. 31 names yeah. the challenge, right? Yeah. So 31 is, is your thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I really don't know. I can't say it's my thing. Mm -hmm. I can just say uh, it's God like moving me towards that direction of 31 days. Because mm -hmm. you see the other challenge was 150 days. So mm -hmm. I can't really say 31. But yeah, I get what you say. Because it's now two. And usually if it's... Yeah. If it's, it's if you do another 31, then it's, it's literally part of your oh, identity. Oh, okay. Because then it's really like, I don't know, doing things in threes. Oh, yeah. Kind of yes, like solidifies yes. nothing yes. as now it's certified to mm -hmm. be that. Mm -hmm. You know, so like I'm thinking to myself, if you have another 31 something from you, <laughs> definitely 31 is your number. <laughs> 31 is you are literally moving 31 <laughs> much. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So you wrote this book during the COVID, um, during the COVID time, and you speak of of, of very um, important issues because you were saying that you you were speaking to God. Yes, speaking to God. That thing. You were saying that you speak to God, having conversations with God, with God, and you hear Him responding to you. And with some of your title, I think the one that I actually read, day one. Because it's actually literally 31 days and each and every single page, if not true, has a day on it. So you can actually do it for a month to complete. It's almost like a challenge that you have to give to yourself. This is my copy. I got my copy here. And uh, we're going to speak as we continue. We're going to dive more into how you can get your copy, where you can get your copy. And there's some exciting news that she'll be telling you guys. It's recently <laughs> happened. Yeah. I hope you guys are excited for it. So um, you were talking about your story of giving people hope. Can you just tell us what is going on around yourself, around the time, what ins inspired you to write the book? Okay. What made you be like, okay, now I'm done for the, writing the book? Because you also mentioned that people were praying for you during this time. Mm -hmm. You know, can you just tell us through your journey? Um, okay, so the funny thing is I wrote the book, I finished, and I, I wrote it alone without anybody knowing because that's, that's what God had instructed me to do. So writing the book and finishing the manuscript and everything, I wrote alone. I didn't tell my mom, I didn't tell my sister, I didn't tell my friends, I didn't tell anyone. It was a matter between myself and the Holy Spirit only. So until I finished the book, that was when I started talking about it. But even then, I didn't tell my family. I just told the people that needed to publish the book. Until I had the final uh, product, which is this, that's when I started speaking to people about it. So um, uh, I would say my journey didn't start with the book. Mm -hmm. My journey started in, I want to say it started in 2019, even though it started before. Like, I was a child of God who was very intentional about using her social media spaces for bringing hope to the people of God. So there is literally, like, nothing that I want to do on social media except to revive hope in people. So in 2019, there was this pandemic. Before the COVID pandemic, there was a gender-based violence pandemic that was happening. And I remember in that time, there was a UCT student who was abducted or like something yeah we in, in the period of we and i'm actually glad that you remember the whole thing in the we in period i remember most students were were may her soul rest in peace also um most students especially girl students were 
always just living in fear, and I was a part of that. Mm. But I knew that I had something in me that can change that that particular feeling of fear, mm. and I wanted to share it with other people as well. Mm. So I was very intentional from that moment to say, I am gonna share scriptures on. Um, on my socials. So every day I would go on my Instagram and post the verse. Just the verse and post it and post it. And I remember that same year it was around August. And then in September there was this challenge. I follow Ruby Baba, so she does Speak Life September. Mm -hmm. And then in Speak Life September she also emphasized the uh, sharing of the word every day. So I was like, okay, so this thing is never going to stop now. Because we already started it, we continue to speak life, and when speak life ends, I still continue. Mm -hmm. So I was posting scriptures, and then I realized that, okay, people see scriptures every day on other people, like and random people post scriptures, mm -hmm. Christians post scriptures. But there is something that people must know about the scripture. So let me bring the revelations I get of the scriptures. Then I would post the scripture, with a little piece of revelation by the corner, like you know how the stories are on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I'll type some the, the scripture and then type something here just to encourage people to say, This is what the scripture says. Mm -hmm. But in in the direction of hope, not just say Psalm 23 and then the Lord is my shepherd. I just I bring a message that speaks of hope in that period. So yeah, that, that started there. And then in 2020, um the year started and then you know we went into COVID, mm -hmm. right? During the COVID period, um, I started my blog. So I started, I saw that, okay, since people are at home, they will enjoy um, reading more because uh, there were small revelations of those scriptures, but I wanted to extend on them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, we're starting a blog to extend on the messages now. Now we're bringing a whole message, which is basically almost like, what I write in here. So I would have a verse and then re uh, write the revelation, but it was now on the blog. Mm -hmm. Then in 2021, I didn't see this coming. One thing I will say about God is that when you start using one gift, He will bring the other. Mm -hmm. Like he, ex he just expands on what you're already doing. So I, it started small as those stories, and then it went to a blog. And then in 2021, I was just sitting in my room. I think it was after prayer, because honestly, I pray all the time. <laughs> like I just decided to make my life a prayer. So uh, that is actually uh, the scripture that I love so much. It's in, in Thessalonians. It just says, "Make your life a prayer." So at any moment, I'll, you'll find me praying. And because we were in the room, we were not going to campus. I was. I came back to school, but I wasn't going to campus. So every moment, I would set out that I'm praying. Sometimes I'm studying and then I'm just like, it's time to pray. So in those moments, as they were happening, I was like, uh, I, I just, um, God revealed a thing of a book, kind of like the, the story of me writing a book, you, you know, that, that type of revelation to say you're going to write a book. And I was, I was like, I wasn't expecting it and I wasn't planning to write a book. Although I've been a writer, I can say most of my life, because even in school I loved writing and, and, and all of that. But I didn't plan on writing. It wasn't my goal. You know how people have dreams and say, when I grow up I want to write a book. Age, For me, it, wasn't, myself, it yeah. was nothing that I ever thought of, and it wasn't anything that I was planning to do in 2021. And I didn't plan for it to happen that quickly. So, uh, in 2021, when God said that, I was like, I am not, I'm, dizzy, I'm okay with the blog. Mm -hmm. Like, it's more safer because it's nothing professional. You're just writing, people are reading, and mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it, it doesn't involve a lot of things. But it kept on pressing my, in my heart that you need to do this thing. And I was like, you know what? Since I chose to live a life of obedience, I'll just obey what God says, and I will move with Him. And I remember in that year, I constantly told people, when I posted on my socials, I would say, move with God. Because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't even telling to the people. It was something that I was telling, telling myself. myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I was just putting it out there as well. I was like, I need to move with God because this is too big for me. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I think it was in March, April, like around those period, uh, around that period. And then in, in May, I remember this one day after prayer, mm -hmm. when I finished praying, usually when I go to the shops, I, I just want to tell the story, usually when I go to the shops, I'll take my card, uh, the, the, what do you call the, the pick and pay card, the mm -hmm. clicks card, and then take my bank card. 
and go. I, I love spending extra. Then I'll go and, and spend some few twenty, and then you know you have your extra savings and stuff. Mm -hmm. That day, I, 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 I prayed, and after prayer, I took 20 rand. I didn't take any card or anything. I went straight to the Kula shop. I bought, uh, I didn't buy a fancy journal or anything. Mm -hmm. I bought an exercise book, uh, uh, two choir. Mm -hmm. I bought a pen, and I came back straight to my room. I didn't go to any other shop, and then I came back. I sat on my table, and I wrote, I started writing. Um, and I, I did an entry first to say you are doing this just to affirm myself that mm -hmm. it's really happening and then that's when I started writing the book then I think I went for like five messages that's when I realized that actually I already started writing that book mm -hmm. I wasn't aware that I'm actually writing that book but I remember now when I look back that it was God who actually moved me to go buy that book so that it starts because it was heavy on my heart I just wanted to take these messages out but I was in denial of the fact that God wants to use me in that way. So I started writing then, and yeah, as time progressed, then I was writing the other messages. Then there was a time when I stopped. I was like, okay, there's no more messages anymore. And then uh, in that period, I was like, maybe it's not supposed to happen. Maybe I was just too excited over something that's not there. Mm -hmm. Then I had to obviously pray and pray. I remember that's the one year in my whole life that I fasted the most because I felt like it must happen, it mustn't happen. Mm -hmm. It must happen, it mustn't happen. I remember at the end of the year, I counted my days because I know that um, I needed to fast the, like almost the whole year. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I, I fasted for about 80 something days in that day, not like straight, mm -hmm. but yeah. like, yeah. I, I did my, obviously in January, I do my 21 days fast. Mm -hmm. In July, I did another one. In between, I was doing 10 days fast, seven days, three days. I remember when I did like the, the most hectic one was like the three days. I was like, I'm gonna drive fast for three days. Hey, I almost died, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it, was, it, it was those moments that actually helped me to finish um, this, this book and also to believe that it's a, it's a God thing. Because sometimes you can say, maybe it's just me being excited about the fact that I can write and people are are saying they get they get help because from the blog and from the writings on Instagram people would comment and say thank you so much for encouraging me thank you so much like they were bringing testimony yeah. Yeah. we finished the book in 2021 and I wanted to publish in that year but because it's a God thing you will definitely have to move with God and follow on his uh, steps and where he's taking you um, I didn't tell my family. <laughs> the funny thing is, I remember my parents were very angry with me, not for the fact for, for not telling them, but for the fact that I didn't go home because I needed to be in my own space alone mm -hmm. for over six months, and I left home in early March, and then I went home in September. So and in that period, I was I, I wrote the book and I was done. I remember in August or July. My parents both called me, and it was in different times, so you can tell that they were talking about this, but. They, they they didn't know that they would call me and say the same thing. Mm -hmm. So my dad called and he was like, why am I not coming home? Uh, am, I, am I gone? Like, it's how they in jail or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, they don't know mm -hmm. the whole story. But I can't tell them now because if I tell them, then it might just mess up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't trust them. My parents mm -hmm. and I have like a good relationship that I would tell them and they would pray for me. One thing for sure, I would know that they were pretty. And but you actually mentioned it daily testimonials because you said the first print did not have testimonials. Yeah. So the second print now has yes. testimonials. And I saw mom and dad. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, they, they are the first people that start. Mm. I, I, I wrote their testimonials first. And I would tell them, and one thing I will tell you, they would pray with me for the entire period. Mm. One thing about my family, they are family that pray. Even if I told my sister she was going to pray for me. So I didn't have a reason not to tell them because I think maybe it's not going to work. No, I knew that it was, but God had instructed me clearly that you need to do this with me alone mm -hmm. and depend on me alone. Because if I told them, then it would look like sometimes when it's giving, it's doing the most, like the writing thing and everything that is involved in mm -hmm. the writing of the book, I would lean on my mom. I would depend on her to help me get through it. No, but because see. God said, do it alone, he wanted to teach me to depend on him and on him alone. alone. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I wrote the book. I finished. And then when I told them, it was already a done deal. So there was no going back anymore. 
sometimes even though people believe in you, I'm not saying this about my family, maybe my friends or any or any other person, if I would tell them that I'm writing a book, somebody would probably say, um, but you're still young, you're still in school, uh, you, you get distracted and maybe you still thing. need to go spiritually. Exactly, exactly. You know, that's that why and you're sure. Because exactly. obviously there's also that skeptic, that, 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 um, I know skepticalism that comes with mm -hmm. you knowing that once you put yourself out there, people can either destroy you or build you up. Because exactly. you know how people are. Because yeah. one, 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 once something is out there in the world, mm -hmm. it's, it's belongs to everyone and can be eaten mm -hmm. in different ways. So it's also that thing. I understand what yeah. you mean by that. It's exactly that thing. Because sometimes you would probably say, I'm not saying anything about my pastors, I respect them, I love them mm -hmm. so much. Uh, but sometimes you'd go to a pastor and tell them that I'm writing a devotional. They'd probably say, but you have not, because I am more of a reserved person. Mm -hmm. I'm more of, I, I try not to be as happy like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not that person. Uh, out, maybe in the world, I'm, I'm trying now because I'm a YouTuber and I speak in a lot of spaces. I'm more out there and speak now. But I think if I would tell probably my pastors, they would be like, why would you want to write a book? Because you're not that person, you don't come up as that person would, you know. So I needed to trust what God tells me about me and not what people would say about me. And that also in, uh, involved me trusting him to carry me through the journey without anybody. So that when I come, they blessed the book, they did everything that needed to be done, but it was already there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me saying, bless the gift in me. Mm -hmm. I understood that there's already a gift in me, but uh, I can't exercise it because people say you must. Because sometimes they would say don't, mm -hmm. don't uh, wait a bit, finish school, focus, mm -hmm. do this, do that. Exactly. People impose what they want for themselves and exactly. what they think is right on you. Exactly. And in, in this in this instant, you did not need that because you were moving with I was the moving one that is greater than all of us. Yes. Yes. I can't yeah. love that for you, and I appreciate getting myself a copy of this and coming to the good news which I've actually pointed at earlier. Mm -hmm. So you recently posted, because I have her on my WhatsApp guys. That's why <laughs> I was saying she doesn't respond to messages. Have her on my WhatsApp. Yeah. So she recently posted you recently posted that we can now find your book uh, in stores. Yes, um, in stores. I'm excited. My my other friend actually reminded me also my latest blog that I posted, mm -hmm. we were in exclusive books. And I said something, I uh, I said, um, I'm saying this because today is day five of the month as we report mm -hmm. this, and it says you have power, I mean, your, your tongue has it all, that's day five. Mm -hmm. And basically the scripture to that, it says you shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you. Mm -hmm. So we went to exclusive books and we were just randomly walking in the aisles and looking at the books and I, we got to the religion section and I said, my book should be sitting here. Mm -hmm. And it's there on the blog. <laughs> Even yeah. I said, I, I must be sitting next to Joyce Mayer. You know, Joyce mm -hmm. Mayer is a preacher. And I was like, it, it, I must be here before the end of 2024. And the funny thing is, this week, I com uh, I confirmed with the bookstore that your book is there. Even on their website, it's already there. Um, so you can now find my book. It's not at, at exclusive books yet. But it's in another bookstore, and for me that is a big milestone. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a big milestone. So it's at it's on campus at Grits. Uh, there is a bookstore at uh, the Matrix. It's uh, H Z Pens Books. So it's campus bookstore. Mm -hmm. It's the first store that you walk into when you go into the Matrix. It's there, um, and it still sells for one hundred and twenty. So it's exciting that it's on campus, but they have a revision section. Mm -hmm. So yeah, even on their website, if there is there any of their bookstores anywhere, my book will be found there. So, yeah, and actually, she they can co also contact get to reach, to reach out to you by your Instagram, right? right? Mm -hmm. And is it Instagram on your Facebook? No, I have. Okay, I, I recently deleted Twitter for spiritual reasons. <laughs> yeah, but um, I am on Facebook as Tato Olga again, and then I'm on Instagram as Tato double underscore Olga, and also on on YouTube. The only thing that you can get is the email. Oh, so yeah, you yeah. can go to the about page and get the email to get the copies. But that's where I found. <laughs> <laughs>
mm -hmm. thinking that other people do not have access to the Bit Campus. Mm -hmm. So as much as yes, people who are around Brown Forte can walk mm -hmm. to the Bit store and yeah. buy it, those Bit students obviously, or anyone who can actually access Bit. Uh, and then those who are far, she does do deliveries. Oh yes, right? not deliveries herself, but yeah, she just types yeah. it in to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. So uh, for people who are outside of where I am, so I'm in Joburg, I'm based in Johannesburg. Uh, for people who are close, I can meet up with you and give you your book. Uh, but for people who are outside, then I deliver. Uh, I do deliveries via taxi cab. Other people prefer Aramex. Other people prefer other stuff. So you you are the one who tells me because. Anyways, the delivery payment is, pay, I mean, the delivery fee is paid by you. Mm -hmm. So if you want a door to door, then you can let me know I deliver. And then, but I mostly use Pexi Pep and mm -hmm. yeah, it gets to you in seven days or three days, depending on what you pay for your delivery. The book sells for only 120 rand. Mm -hmm. Only 120 rand. I like that. Only. It's 120 rand, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 120. And then your whole life is just transformed. Transformed for 31 days. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys need to go more than that. Maybe a day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. I actually, know, like, I actually know people that finished it in less than a week. Sometimes, in, like, they just read on the messages. Because it just kept them going yeah. and going and going. Yeah. But I do think it's important for you to read a, 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 a verse. A and then, day. Yeah, a day, and then reflect on it throughout the whole day. day. Maybe read the scriptures. Because I'm thinking, if you're going by like you're reading mm -hmm. a long road, that's not that's not how you're missing out on the actual yeah. uh, reason for the book. Because the actual yeah. reason is to build discipline in you as mm -hmm. a child of God to say every day I will read the word and then I will have a revelation to the word. So now if you're reading it, I'm not saying people are reading it are doing anything mm -hmm. wrong, but if you're reading it like that, then you're missing on the revelations, you're missing on what God wants to say to you, you're missing on digesting the word as you're supposed to, and you're missing on the real reason, discipline in the spirit. So yeah, I would really appreciate for people to read it for 31 days, one message a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And don't forget to go on Tato's Instagram and leave those testimonials. Yes, help her because once you know, I do think it, it helps a lot to get mm -hmm. feedback on it to know what your work is doing to other people out exactly. there, how it's changing people's lives. Because I also come across friends whom I say it's just a random day, I have a thought, let me just send all my friend, um, Norma, a message mm -hmm. uh, and just remind her that she's beautiful and we care about her. Wow. And you find that she in that moment needed that exactly. more than anything exactly. so testimonials are very important send those testimonials through you know interact with her because the youtube channel also has gives up giveaways and i yes, actually want to take it oh. and i didn't go to the content <laughs> you actually are the and one who won the ticket because you follow instructions my good lord no this is so far people don't follow instructions <laughs> the giveaway was so clear mm. and i wanted to give and shame shout out to my friends i had two of my friends who didn't know that the the, the thing will be in northwest mm -hmm. so because they thought it would be in pretoria or um, around Joburg. Mm -hmm. they also gave away two vip tickets oh, but now yes, i had yeah. three tickets to give away but now we wouldn't give, we couldn't give them to people in Johannesburg. So they did the giveaway on the radio station that time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just wanted to appreciate my friends and say, I see you, I love you, thank you so much. And I love what your friends yeah. are doing for you. Oh, it's important to show appreciation, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot of flowers, but showing. And speak, speak to their cops. Exactly. Oh, also another thing that I wanted to talk about is the testimonial mm -hmm. thing. Because I remember there's a period where I was discouraged to just talk about the book or say anything for like period from last year probably uh, July to maybe November I, I didn't say anything about the book on my socials it was people that were bringing testimonials that kept me going mm -hmm. and that made the book to sell because somebody would sell would, would send a testimonial and tag me when I tag it somebody say can I have the book mm -hmm. so sometimes I'm, I'm not even doing the, the work alone people are the ones who are helping me and also encouraging me to say what we see the work that you did and it's helping us because the whole point is for it to help people mm -hmm. and not just to be there and be selling books and people are like you're making money it's not even about the money it's about the work that has to be done in the people so i'm i'm, I'm, I'm i really appreciate the testimonials just to hear what the messages are doing to share to the next person um, a few days ago i received a message that there's a there's a lady who whom her mom bought the book but the book got lost somewhere mm -hmm. and she she wants to, she she has suicidal thoughts and 
I, I, I just thank God that in the book that she's going, she's going to get, there's a testimonial where somebody had suicidal thoughts and they say mm -hmm. the messages help them. So it goes a long way to share your testimony as it is also, mm -hmm. so, because you don't know the next person it would help. I was excited that before she even reads the messages, she's going to call on the testimonial and it's going to help her because she's also going through the same thing. That yes, someone thinks that someone was somebody says I read a message, she will probably skip the other message and go to that message. Straight to that message. Yeah. yeah, so I appreciate testimonial. Mm -hmm. So you earlier mentioned you earlier mentioned that when you have one gift, God opens more gifts. Yeah. So man, you can say <laughs> yes. please think that. <laughs> Just a little bit. I we don't have a nice exactly. It would have been like you know how they do it at espresso. That after yeah. we have an interview, then they give you the platform. Then you sing. Yeah. You sing with Yana, right? Oh no, it was. Uh, I, I don't sing with her, but I was invited when she was also invited. So mm -hmm. we were both invited artists uh, mm -hmm. in Northwest. Yeah, uh, I didn't see myself as an artist, but one thing. Apart from uh, the gift part, that the gift thing that I said, where God expands your gift, mm -hmm. um, He also, He also just. Uh, I'm losing my train of thought, but He also shocks you with uh, the things that you didn't know you have in you. Mm. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. <laughs> can, can I, I say what I wanted to say? Yes, can I say that? So you remember. are saying to me that in the viewers of course mm -hmm. that they are when you yes you have the gift and then you know i have this gift but it is through that gift that god reveals to you oh, yes. other things yes. that you didn't know that you had or yeah. you were capable of actually doing mm -hmm. oh, also he, he works on your availability mm -hmm. in that particular area or even in others then the gifts will grow mm -hmm. but why i'm saying this is because i've been singing in church uh, for my whole life I started singing in church at the age of 12, uh, 9, actually. Yeah, very young. Um, yeah, I grew up, I was born in the church, I grew up in the church, yeah. So I started singing at a young age, but I was sing in the Sunday school choir. Mm -hmm. Then I joined the worship team, I was asked to join the worship team um, at 12, 13, somewhere there. I was still very young. So I've been singing since that age. It's almost like I was look, I was looking back, I was like, I've been singing for over 15 years now. Mm, yeah, <laughs> but really yeah. So I've been singing for the longest time, but I didn't see myself as an artist mm -hmm. until I got invited then. They say, uh, we invite you as an artist. I was like, God, do you want to call me an artist now? <laughs> <laughs> what's going you know? on? Yeah, what's going on? But I realized that it's that gift thing that um, sometimes God allows you to stay in one area so that he builds you up for moments like that mm -hmm. because i felt like okay i was being built up for a time such as this and even if i don't see anywhere after that i know what god was doing and i know why he wanted me to be there and i know why he sent me there and i'm i'm excited to have also been there but you yeah. know what i it was a ooh, i missed out i had a ticket you know what what you, had a ticket. you guys <laughs> Give me money, <laughs> but next time, but next time, <laughs> my other giveaways, of course, I'll, I'll make sure I partake. Def definitely, mm. definitely, yeah. And also, you should, you guys should subscribe to our YouTube channel, call our Instagram, because how are you gonna know about the giveaways? Very yeah, for her, her, if you're not watching her channel, <laughs> yeah. you know, because you you give out very nice vlogs, and I've seen Aww. some big personalities actually attest to that. Yeah. You were so excited Ooh. this other day, and I don't, I don't remember his name, yeah. but it was like. Follow her. Yeah, she exactly. gives the, the best Christian. I, um, I she's the best Christian blogger. Exactly. I didn't even know that Uriki would see me. You mm -hmm. know, when you put your things out there, mm -hmm. you're just thinking it's for my friends because mm -hmm. that's the people that you know and that's the, like the, the people that I'm sure they're going to exactly. see. Yeah, going to like, watch. You send you send the link to your WhatsApp. You send your link to your Instagram. I don't have like a huge following. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you send the you, you in your head, you're thinking it's only those people that are gonna watch. But only to find that actually big people who vouch for Christians out there, it, it, it's a channel that's like one of the big Christian channels. Mm. And I think it, it's still, now it sits on 90 something 
thousand subscribers. And for him to say that on his screen, where like over 50,000 people will watch, they will come, and that brought me to me. Well, I was like, wow. Because people trust his word. Exactly. Because they know, they trust his work and they trust his word. Exactly. So when someone like that opens their mouth and they're like, go check out this person, mm -hmm. they're doing this amazing work. Definitely numbers are going to come exactly. and, uh, and, and watch your content. Yeah, I, I believe I do, <laughs> do give like great, uh, blogs. You sound like you're doubting <laughs> that. Please say that again. Convince <laughs> me this time. No, no, I do. I give like amazing bomb blogs because um, it's in the presence of the Lord. One thing that I will certainly tell you that even if somebody does not believe in God, when they watch that blog, they will enjoy it. Why? Because the presence of God has joy in it. Mm -hmm. So, m most certainly, when you click on that blog and you watch, and it's in the presence of God. There's no way you will enjoy it. And then you will see me. I'm enjoying myself in the presence of God. I'm not reserved. I'm the most bubbly person in the presence. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good man. And I like the fact that usually you take us to your concerts. Yeah. Whenever there's a content, content, we know that, okay, fine. I didn't get a ticket, I didn't know where there, there was a concert, but I'll be there at the concert. You will be there. I'll be there. <laughs> you will be there I will take you with you. You will take me to the concert. <laughs> and I love that. Yeah, I love yeah. that. We, we, it's very nice because another thing that makes a, some, a content maybe enjoyable is seeing the people that are doing it, mm -hmm. enjoying it, then because that encourages you to like, want oh, to see what, what's so exciting. Exactly. I, actually, that's my reason. I don't even ask this question, but I'll just put it in here. That, that's my reason for actually studying my channel, um, to just show young people, or rather everybody, but mostly young people, that it is great to be saved. It is nice to trust in the Lord and hope in Him and still enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. You will enjoy it in His presence. You will not enjoy it anywhere else. But just to show them that the presence of God is also like a nice place. You will vibe there. We also have a disco lights. The disco lights, mm -hmm. those lights, yeah, yeah, those yeah. nice lights. We also have those lights. We also have that steam coming. Like it's, hey, nice. it's nice. We enjoy ourselves. Like we dance, and you get like a family that just loves you, that just supports you in the house of God. Like. I think all my friends I got from shows. Honestly, like my best, my all my friends I got them from music shows or Christian events. Mm. So it's not like a uptight life, closed up and mm. it's an amazing life. Yo, it's an amazing life. <laughs> <laughs> if well, you, if you don't you. want to be part of this life, yeah, you exactly she is, like, like she gets so excited to talk about it. If you don't want to be, if you want to be this happy, have what she's having, please. Yeah. So I and, 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 and I and I see the energy that you give it. So it's also that thing of I want to have whatever she's having because if whatever she's having is making her do that, I want to yeah. do that. I want to be there. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And I and I, and I and I like I like what you said that sometimes sometimes you don't. We never know that something is going to happen, mm -hmm. but when it when it's there and it's happening, that's when you realize that God was taking you this yeah. this far for mm -hmm. this reason, right? So let's 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 talk about where I met you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about where I met you, mm -hmm. and and then maybe your journey there. Okay. You understand. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as you guys know, I'm a vet student. Mm -hmm. She's also a vet student, a vet a very proud one. <laughs> Who's doing a vet's life with God? Yeah, you know, taking us along with the blogs and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and congratulations on your book being actually part of the books at vet oh, as well. Yeah. See how vet's vet is just doing all the things right for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I met I met Tato at a facilitation program. Uh, just a short course on, on how to facilitate discussions and stuff like that. But that was not the only thing that God had. For her to actually even qualify to be part of the facilitation, she had to be a registered student. Mm -hmm. However, there's like a something I love about you, Jenny, is mm -hmm. that you did not start um, with studying what you are about to finish. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> the journey started long before that. Thank you, girls. <laughs> Take us through the journey now. Uh, okay, this is funny because I didn't expect the interview to. Just <laughs> shut up. I'm talking about God. We're like, we're doing God now. And the book and hey, yeah. But it's part of my life, man. And I think God wants to use my testimony. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm open to talking about it. 
Uh, so I started in with a very long time ago, uh, in 2018. Yeah, I started in 2018 and I was studying a degree that's different from what I'm studying right now. Mm -hmm. um, am I allowed not to say the name of the degree? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If you guys um, want to know more, obviously it's probably going to be like a blog. Exactly. They should be like, I'm graduating in what, what, what. And yeah, you know, oh, you know, okay. You know, when the time is right. Mm. Yeah. But I'm not graduating in the degree that I, I started from so I started with a different degree um, and then I changed at the end of that year actually I didn't change at the end of that year oh it's gonna be a long story if I start <laughs> about it. but okay let me just try and make it short so towards the end of that year um, I remember it was in September I had one day where I woke up on Saturday so in that year I, I had a roommate and she she didn't she didn't come back on Friday. I think she slept at her friend's place. And Saturday morning I woke up and I looked at her bed and I was like, she's not there. Thank God, I'm fasting. Mm -hmm. And I fasted that day. And that day God literally gave me a picture of how my life is gonna pan out mm -hmm. in the next couple of years. And that degree was just not. I know people are gonna say like you're trying to spiritualize things now, mm -hmm. but I know for for certain that. That, that day when I prayed, something changed and I needed to shift from that degree. Mm -hmm. I needed to get out of that place and get into another place, not like drop out or give up on school, but to get into a place that will take me where God wanted to take me. And if I, if, if I, if I didn't know, or if I knew, what do they say if I knew better? Mm -hmm. If I didn't know better, but whatever that they say, <laughs> I would say, um, if I knew better, I'm trying to get the phrase that they use. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> people will get what I'm saying. Uh, God, that this degree that I'm currently in matches so perfectly with where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Like the book came after I took the degree that I'm doing right now, and I'm, it's not a it's not a writing uh, degree or uh, about writing or generally mm -hmm. or anything. But the the journey just works together. And I am so excited to have been here. I think I was telling Lula before the in, the actual mm -hmm. interview that I love I love education and I love God. I'm a servant of God, but I also understand that in the world to 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 be more powerful and successful, you have to be educated. Mm -hmm. And I understand that in the world in general, as a spiritual being, I need to be filled up with God. So I need to use the two together to say the strategy of the world says be educated for you to be powerful mm -hmm. but i want to bring god in this whole thing so let me be educated so that we can then put the bring the education to work together and just work in the i mean bring the kingdom of god to light to the people so i did that and some uh, last year uh, so i'm doing uh, i was i did the first degree and then i'm doing this one that i'm currently doing right now mm -hmm. and then i also enrolled for another another um, another qualification on the side which is not a degree but a diploma with a different institution that's and what i said earlier on mm -hmm. right when we began i was like she's a student a two-time student like a, oh yeah yeah <laughs> this is what i was saying she's explaining it to you guys now <laughs> that she's a two-time student because she's she's involved in two institutions at the same time mm. you understand that she did not need that degree just because it was hard or she couldn't do it or anything like that. She was being driven by the spirit, like you said. Mm -hmm. And her life, but this is the shape that her life was supposed to take. Because mm -hmm. look at her now, two institutions, same time. <laughs> She's doing it. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. you know what God will show you? Uh, because I got a job last year, after writing the book, I got a, 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 a company that called me and said, can you work with you for a couple of months mm -hmm. as a freelancer? And then I was freelance, I, I think I freelanced for like two months and then they were like, can we put you in the management, what, what? Mm -hmm. Like, hey God, you're doing too much, at, like in, yeah. in a short space of time. And then there when I got there, it was only for that opportunity for me to register for that thing because they were like, we want you to work in that de department as part of management. But it, it really didn't actually work about that because I think I didn't even work for that long. It was just for me to, because people were chosen to go study for the other thing. Mm -hmm. And it was, I was not going to be able to do this because of freelancer. Oh, yeah. So it was God literally putting me there so that we can register for that. And when I saw that, um, for people who follow me on my socials, they will know that 
when when I post something, you should know that something is happening. So yeah. that time I posted, I was like, when opportunity comes, grab that opportunity because you don't know uh, when again you will come. Mm. Opportunities choose people for a reason. You don't get to choose the opportunity unless you create it yourself. Mm. So the opportunity came and I was like, I'm taking it. I'm not going to wait to finish this degree first and then go study for another thing. I'm going to do them concurrently. Mm. If God placed me in that position, he will sustain me through both of them. So I started doing that. And then in between, I take short courses every mm. now and then. That's why you, that's we where you are like, yeah. yeah. I took another one, like, I, I take short courses here and there. So at times I'm a three-time student, but at least short courses finish very quickly. But I have to say that it's, it's, it's a lot, but it's a beautiful journey when you are doing it with God. He, mm. will, he will sustain you. He will, he will go in his strength, man, and he will make it. He will make and it. you see why she, she, she is unavailable most of the time. There are people, though, man, mm. I should say this, <laughs> who, who are not available but are not really doing anything. Oh, yeah. You understand? Yes, yes. But in your case, it's, it, it makes so much sense mm. that you're unavailable yet you're doing so great things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you guys have heard it from Otato. As if we go on, we will spend the whole, the whole day. day, not even day, the rest of the year, we'll be sitting there <laughs> talking about Tato yeah. and, and, and all the things that she has done. Just a reminder, the book is available on campus at? at uh, camp, it's Campus Bookstore, so it's HZ Ken's book, Bookstore. Main campus, right? Yeah, main campus. Mm -hmm. It's the first bookstore that you walk into when you walk into the matrix with the blue uh, thingy on. I don't, I don't buy books, man. Okay, <laughs> but, but the first shop I do like books because you know I hey, Jesus. I just at least take books, but I I can't all, always. Go I just remembered something. Yeah. I always say I operate in the blessing of the first, mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is the first store when you walk into the matrix. So the first store that you encounter mm -hmm. when you walk into the matrix, at Vets. Uh, campus, main campus, that's the that's where my book is found. And also on their social media platforms, which I will just put here on the mm -hmm. caption box, and you will, you will be able to contact her, you will be able to have her. Um, rest is your Saturday, I guess. Very blessed. <laughs> <laughs> have a beautiful rest of uh, the evening, and um, just remember that you can always take up this 31 day challenge and you can also do other, some of the other challenges that you mm -hmm. mentioned yeah, all fasting is very important yeah. you can also fast as well to listen and hear the word of god if you want to know more about how you can communicate with god because he actually writes so nice conversations with god and it's almost like god is just like a person sitting next to her and they're having conversations <laughs> get to understand get to ask ask her how do you reach that level how how do you get there how do you communicate with god how do you know what god wants you to do speak to her engage with her content on youtube i mean she also does engage with her content yes it was lovely having you there thank you so much any anyway last word for my viewers oh last word okay um so the fruits of the spirit <laughs> for people who are not christian um the fruits of the holy spirit that's what i'm talking about uh love joy peace um kindness, generosity, and uh, meekness, self-control as well. The reason I'm mentioning that is because I want for us as people to con like demonstrate those every day because I think we would become a better world if we do that. If you are kind to the next person, then the world is going to become a better place. If you are full of joy, then the world is going to become a better place. You'll be at peace. Love will come, love will overflow. So I want for all of us in this world to demonstrate those fruits of the Spirit. They are found in the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 for everybody who reads the Bible and everybody who doesn't. I hope by the end of this video you will start to go towards the direction of reading the Bible. But one other last thing that I would love to say is that just take Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and see your life transform and become a better life of prosperity success and the joy that is always overflowing it's just if you would love to take christ as your lord and savior just go to my channel you'll find a video there that says salvation prayer or accepting christ yeah please do that because i feel like it will be the best decision of your life even if you don't thank me but i will be happy knowing that you took christ as your lord and savior and you are living a life of joy and this whole interview was worth yeah. your life being saved. Exactly.